In this video, I'll be showing you how to download and install Jupyter Notebook with Python. So let's get started. So just go to Google and type download Python. You'll be getting the first link for python.org download. Just click on download Python. And in this, you'll be having the download option. And here also you're having download Python, which is the latest version. Just click on that and your download will be getting automatically started. It is just about 24 MB in size, so pretty fast download. So once the download is completed, just click on open. And you'll be getting the install Python setup. And in this, you need to like make sure that you're checking this particular option, okay? Add python.exe to path. Be careful there. And I will just go with the default path. And I'll just click on install now. So it will take some time for the Python setup to install. So once we are done installing, we'll be getting setup was successful. Just click on close. Now we are done. So next thing we will check if we have successfully installed Python. So for doing that, just go to search and open your command prompt. I'll just zoom it to the max. And I'll just type Python hyphen hyphen version. So here you can see that I'm getting the latest version. And in case if you're getting any errors when running this Python version command, what you want to do is you want to just go to search and you type Python, and you just click on open file location. You'll be having this Python app, click that. And again, you'll be having this Python. Right click it, and you need to select open file location. So you'll be having this path app beta local Python, the Python version. Just press here, you need to copy this entire path. I'll just put it in my notepad. And again, you'll be having this scripts folder, where we'll be having this pip command. So we need to also copy this path. So you need to just copy these two paths and you need to paste them in environment variables. Environment, you'll be getting eight the system environment variables. Click on environment variables. Under system variables or user variables, just click on path, click on edit. And here you need to click on new and paste these two paths and click on okay, okay. I already have this by default, Python also adds this path, but in place if you have forgotten to check that option, you need to add it manually. Okay, these two paths, you know, just add it there. And after this, we are good. So I just close everything. I'll go to my command prompt again, and I'll just type pip hyphen hyphen version. Because we're going to install Jupyter Notebook with the help of this pip. So for installing Jupyter Notebook, it's going to be pip install Jupyter, okay, J-U-P-Y, it's not I, hit enter. So it says downloading Jupyter and our Jupyter Notebook gets downloaded and installed now. And once we're done installing, we'll be getting a message like this. So now if I type Jupyter hyphen hyphen version, we'll be getting all the versions present inside Jupyter. And in case if you're getting some errors other than this, you need to just check the path, okay, you to add those two paths. So now we have successfully installed Jupyter Notebook and let's see how we can like create a file, okay, a Jupyter Notebook file, okay. So for this, just go to any folder, okay? Just create a new folder. I'll just grab it as Jupyter Notebook. Double click it. And now I'm inside this folder. You want to just click here and you type CMD and hit enter. So now I'm inside this particular folder. And here we need to type Jupyter space notebook and hit enter. So now a Jupyter Notebook work area will be created inside this file. So here you can see we'll be getting an empty interface like this. If I just click on new, I need to click on notebook. I'll be, we'll be getting this Jupyter notebook thing. So Python 3, yeah, I'll just click on select. And here we'll be able to run Python code. So I'll just go here and type print. And I'll just click on this run button. We'll be getting hello in the output. And if I just click on file, I'll just click on save notebook. And if you want to rename it, you can rename this to anything. I'll just have it as new notebook. I'll just click on rename and I'll just save it, save notebook. And if I go to that folder where we opened this, I go to JN. So here you can see, this is the Jupyter source file. So now we are currently open this file here. And if I just now double click it, we'll be getting this opened in Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code also, we can open this .ipynb file, Python Jupyter Notebook file. You can do this also. 
So this is basically how you install and create a Jupyter Notebook file. I hope you would have found this video useful. 